Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Craig Peters here from Sound Iron, and in today's walkthrough, I'm gonna be taking you through the brand new Loof Balloon version 2.0 upgrade. Loof Balloon is a collection of percussion and sound effects created with almost 100 party balloons blown up with helium into all sorts of different shapes and sizes. This library is bursting with creative potential with an assortment of pops, twists, squeals, thumps, and other sustaining and total elements, and much more. We also remastered the samples and added new usability features with our modular template and created 20 custom effects presets to inspire your next musical composition. This library is also built for the full version of Contact version 5.5 or later. Alright, so without further ado, let's dive in and check out all the new sounds and features that come with the Loof Balloon version 2.0 upgrade. So when you first open up Loof Balloon, you'll notice in the UI you have these different layers, so layers 1 and 2 allow you to have all the different articulation sets that's basically the same in layers 1 and 2, so you can kind of mix and match, layer them, and that sort of thing. And then you also have a bunch of ambiences. There's 25 to choose from, and we also created a bunch of brand new ones for this upgrade, as well as the substance layer, which just allows you to layer in some various sine waves or saw waves or even some white noise. Also, another thing in this upgrade, you'll see if you go up here to this little settings icon, you also have the advanced tab with LFO, filtering, and arpeggiation, and we'll get into a little bit more of that later. All right, so let's just go ahead and play through some of the various different sounds that come with the library. There's a lot of really cool, interesting percussion sounds and effect sounds that you can mess around with. So if you're doing any type of percussion stuff and you want to, you know, flip it up a little bit and really add some different unusual type of percussion sounds, this is perfect for that. All right, so now let's go ahead and play through some of the different sounds. And right there is basically just playing the same sound all across the keyboard, but if you want to take it and use it in more of a pitched way, you can go above where the pitch knob is, there's a little drop down, and there's tuned and untuned. And if you do tuned, so you can get a little bit more musical. And then we have some fill sounds. And then if there's a certain sound that you want to use and use it more like a musical instrument and just kind of tune it across the key range, you can click this little icon right here. You'll see it'll turn into a question mark. Pick the note that you want. And then now you have it mapped across the key range. Now, some of the things you can do if let's say you have a certain sound that you like, so you'll see that's just all pop sounds. You can go into here, turn on the arpeggiator. And now if normally this was pitched, if let's say you don't want that, you can just have a consistent. And then go into the ambiences, turn on an ambience. And then let's go ahead and set this ambience to layer B. I'm going to learn this to my mod wheel. Now, you know, so we can go ahead and just map that. Or if you want to keep this layer one pitched and whenever you're down in this region, you want it to be lower. that and then if let's say you want to go into layer two uh, let's go ahead and find some snap sounds so let's turn on the arpeggiator for this let's find a different rhythm so actually let's do this let's take layer two and we'll put that on layer a Layer one, let's put that on layer B. I already have everything learned in my mod wheel, so nothing's gonna change. And let's just try this out. 
actually, let's go back to layer one. Make sure this is untuned. So it's pretty easy to start combining different elements, different rhythms, as well as ambiences for soundscapes to really build some, some tracks that have some motion built in. So if you're scoring a picture and you want to have stuff evolve, it's really easy to do that. All right, so let's keep playing through some of the different sounds. These are some rub singles. Let's check out the rub singles too. Just basically rubbing your hand on a balloon. And then uh, the snaps. Some squeak shorts. Squeak short singles. So if you want to take that and spread it across. And then we got some squeals. Yeah, and those can be cool for uh, if you just want some tension. Actually, let's take this note. Let's go into the effects rack. Let's turn on some, turn up the reverb a little bit. Let's add some delay. Let's add some distortion. You can play around with the pitch wheel, just experiment and see what kind of weird tension stuff you can do. So it really depends on what you're going for, what you have in your mind as far as sounds that you want to take and manipulate. So there's some, some fun ways you can get a little bit more uh, sound design hands-on with it uh, within the effects rack. And then we also have some effects. All right, so we kind of touched a little bit on the ambiences. So let's go ahead and play through some more of those. I really like this one, it has a really nice sub, sub bass underneath it.
All right, so now let's go ahead and dive in and check out the custom effects presets that come with the new Loof Balloon version 2.0 upgrade.
All right, so that about wraps up this walkthrough for Loof Balloon. If you want to learn more about the library or check out some demos to hear it in action, make sure to go to soundiron.com. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.